Oh, oh, Space responding DRL, all right? Sp Wait, hold on. Is that the actual word? Yes, it was. Space responding DRL, differential reinforcement of low rates of behavior. For those of you that don't know what a space responding DRL is, it has to do with when you have intervals. <laughs> anyway, I screwed it up. Anyway, so the point is, is that you're trying to reduce a behavior, right? Or reduce the rate of a behavior. So you're going to uh, increase the spaces between the responding. I've been often accused of speaking very fastly in class, and my students, and then historically, have uh, um, listened very well. They take notes, they write, do all this really crazy stuff, right? They're writing everything down that I say, and all in class, and then all of a sudden, everything that uh, they learn in class, they start to apply. And as they start to apply what they learn in class, they ask more questions as I slow down, which means that for me, asking questions is a reinforcer, and it reduces the frequency of me speaking quickly. So as I reduce my rate of responding and increase the IRT between my responses, I'm going to pick it back up here a little bit because I'm running out of time. Um, so as I increase my IRTs, or sorry, as I decrease my IRTs, so we're going to increase the space between the responses, you could different, differentially reinforce that to lower the rate of behavior, right? So what I found in class is that I would early on would start out talking extremely fast. And then over time, I would slow down. My students would find a pace that worked for them. And they would keep me at that level by engaging me in discussion. So spaced responding, differential reinforcement, or differential, what? Differential. Interval. Di no, DRL. Differential, di differential. Reinforcement of low rates. Differential reinforcement of low rates of behavior. Hmm. Thank you.